Let's talk about deep squatting and split squatting. So belief in these exercises is not just this rite of passage, uh, gotta be tough, earn your stripes kind of mentality. All right, it's actually very well supported by research. Uh, for one, we have a whole host of research that supports uh, strength training at long muscle length, which is what we're doing for the glutes and quads and adductors when we go deep in a squat and split squat. Um, the research shows that it's uh, very good for strength, hypertrophy, and power actually. Now, more specifically for the quads, we find that we need to do deeper knee flexion in our strength training in order to get good development of the vastus medialis. That's your teardrop quad muscle right here. That claim is based on experience and on research. Uh, I'm about to show you a study title with an abstract here, but Basically, they found that in deeper knee flexion, we got uh, greater activation and torque of the medialis, vastus medialis, relative to the vastus lateralis uh, in deeper knee flexion versus in shallower knee flexion. So even though both your vastus muscles are, are knee extensors, uh, they actually have some functional differences. Uh, they're activated to different levels depending on the level of knee flexion that you're using. Okay, uh, so again, the vastus medialis is better developed with deeper knee flexion strength training. Um, and this muscle is very important for uh, controlling the tracking of your patella. So it's a big, uh, big knee health muscle that you wanna make sure you don't neglect. Okay, but really this difference in the activation highlights a need for variety in our strength training. So there are examples of this, you know, all throughout the body, but basically if you look at a muscle or especially if it's a, a complex muscle group, you're never going to thoroughly develop that with one exercise to one joint angle. Okay, uh, you need variety. So the idea that there is, you know, like just one ideal joint angle that you should do all your exercises to is completely absurd. So to be clear, when it comes to the quads and the glutes and a squat and a split squat, I'm not saying that we should only do full knee and hip flexion, okay? Training to uh, less than full range is good too. However, uh, if you're an athlete in a you know, sprinting and jumping sport, you probably get a ton of volume in these shallower uh, knee and hip flexion positions. And so, probably the deeper ranges are gonna be more influential for you because that's what you're not getting from sport. So deeper being like 90 degrees and below.